All right, so a little plug for surpluscenter.com, who I'm very happy to have found. They saved me a lot of money on hoses, and here's how. This is my original hose here. As an example, this particular hose runs from the front manifold to the, the four-way where the valves are, uh, the check valves are, back by the reservoir. And uh, this particular hose is a three-quarter inch inside diameter, 28 inches and a half long, number 12 female swivel on each side, which would have cost me at a shop about $65 to have made. I got this hose, which is three-quarter inch inside diameter, 30 inch length, so it's about an inch and a half longer, female dash 12 on each end for $21 at Surplus Center. So I saved, like, let's call it 50 bucks. After taxes and everything, I'd probably be looking at $70 for that hose. I didn't have to pay taxes for this, though I had to pay shipping. But because I was going to pay shipping, I bought a whole lot of hoses. I bought 19 or 20 hoses for under $350 with my fittings shipped. So I'm pretty pleased because um, the best the best estimate that I got for just six or seven small hoses that I brought into the shops, they were all over $300. Most of them were in a 360 range. Um, and some hose shops, three different hose shops in my local area. So um, I'm really pleased to have found Surplus Center. You do need to obviously take responsibility yourself for figuring out how to measure the the fittings but it's not a big deal they make it easy for you you can print out a template I actually prefer the table the table I think as I showed in another video you just get your calipers and you compare your values to this table which is really helpful and um, then you go on their website and you look for what you need uh, the hoses come just like this they have uh, caps in each end but I'm gonna clean them clean them out um, just to be sure before I install them. Uh, I did have to make some minor compromises which uh, may or may not be minor in your application. And Here's an example. This hose here is going to be the replacement for that hose. That hose is from the steering cylinder to the flow divider. There's four of them. Two of them go to the flow, div flow divider and uh, the other two out of the cylinders up back into where off the top of my head that manifold I guess yeah they'd be going to the manifold so the what's unique about these hoses from from the other hoses that I have is most of them have the same fittings on each end these don't this has a dash six on one end and a dash four on the other end this is a quarter inch inside diameter well surplus center doesn't sell hoses like that they sell hoses of a certain inside diameter a certain length and the same type of fitting on each end. It's female swivels on each end, and they're the same, they're a pair, right? So it'll be like dash four, dash four, or dash six, dash six. But not one side is dash four and one side is dash six. So they do sell different dash fittings on the same inside diameter hose. So for example, this quarter inch inside diameter hose they had available dash four and dash six. Um, they might have had more. That's what I remember off the top of my head. So in my application, for example, I had to buy this fitting. And this fitting on one end is a dash four male because it's going to go into that dash four female on the end of this hose. And on the other end, it is a dash six female because it's going to go on the dash six male which is on the flow divider or the manifold depending on where this one particular one happens to end up. Um, this may not be a good solution in your application because adding more fittings increases the chances of um, leakage occurring obviously just because you have uh, more places for it to occur. Um, my skid stair is a really a low pressure application as far as skid steers go so I'm not worried about it if that's not the case then I will make that adjustment when the time comes uh, for $12 for a hose instead of $45 I'm willing to try so I went ahead and bought everything that I needed for all of these hoses um, and there's one application where I, I, I ordered the wrong one 
and I'll tell you what that is right now so you don't make that same mistake. Um, I should also mention to cut your hoses open instead of just uh, trying to gauge the inside diameter by the outside diameter because this hose for example you can see is very heavily reinforced. Every hose shop that I took this hose to and this was one of the hoses that went to the hose shops they assumed the inside diameter on this was actually 5 eighths of an inch. It is a half inch but I think they thought that because the outside the outside is is a lot thicker thickness is, is very thick especially when you compare it to this this is a three quarter inch inside diameter with the single band there um, this is a much much thicker walls and so this is obviously a higher pressure application going into the cylinder this hose goes from the, into the boom cylinders um, but I could get the same strength hose now 3000 psi strength hose now um, with the same inside diameter, half inch inside diameter, where the outside diameter is smaller. So I think maybe that's why they thought it was a 5 8 But actually it's a 1 half inch. So I was pleased to find that because Surplus Center doesn't sell any 5 8 inch inside diameter hoses. They only sell uh, half inch, uh, quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, might go higher than one inch. I didn't need any one inch so I can't remember. But this hose has a female swivel, I think it was a dash 8, on one end, and it has a male on the other end, and it's a O-ring, you can see the O-ring on there, that is an O-ring SAE8 fitting. Well, then, if you're going to buy this hose from Surplus Center, you're going to have a swivel on each end, right? You're not going to have, because they only come with female swivels on each end. So you're going to have to buy this fitting. Well, buy this fitting, um, you would want to buy a male, let's see, a male JIC by male SAE8, right? Well, that's what I should have bought, but I wasn't paying attention, and I bought two male JICs. So I bought a dash 8 JIC, dash 8 JIC, which is, for example, what you see there, with the caps on it. That's not going to work because while the male JIC will fit into the into the swivel like for example here it will fit in there um, the other end of the that fitting isn't gonna fit into my cylinder so I'm gonna have to send away for another order to get those because I made that mistake I needed four or five of those too all of the cylinders on my L L35 are single action cylinders um, but uh, that's my mistake. That's not that's not anything from Surplus Center. So I get to make another order. My mistake with that. But I found some other things I needed to order too. In fact, I was pleased to find uh, I was pleased to find on Surplus Center's website a tie rod end for this this side right here or this um, member right here. And where's the one that's broken? Here's the one that is broken. So this is the high-low adjustment rod, and you can see that's blown. Um, New Holland, of course, for this with this female and then this male stud out, they want like $65 or whatever, $8 for this at uh, Surplus Center. So it works out. Got to do another order anyway. But I'm 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 very pleased so far uh, with the with the service and especially the prices at Surplus Center. If you need new hoses, you might consider that. Again, it might not be appropriate for your application because the the hose lengths aren't going to be perfect. Well, they may be perfect. You may just get lucky. And some of mine were actually right on the money or within an inch. Um, some of them were right on the money. I had a few 30-inch hoses, and they sold 30-inch hoses. Um, but do keep in mind that uh, you don't want to go shorter than the hose that you're replacing uh, because the hose is going to expand. That outside diameter is going to expand under pressure. So Poisson's ratio, right, you're going to get a decrease in length as you get an increase in outside diameter and vice versa. Uh, but you don't also want to go too long because then you might uh, you might end up trying to thread these on and, and skip your thread and get it cross-threaded, um, especially for a really stiff line like a suction line, uh, a suction line like from the reservoir to the pump. So, surplus center, try it. All right, so I'd like to show quickly how to use these tables and templates 
I got these from Surplus Center, surpluscenter.com out of Lincoln, Nebraska. That's where I plan to get my hoses. They have very great selection, good prices, very reasonable shipping, and they have a lot of stuff on, on hand. So I printed these out, and I'm actually going to use the table because I have calipers. Uh, if you don't have calipers or a micrometer, you might be better off with the template to just compare the sizes. There is a fairly large distinction between the larger ends. It's pretty close there, that dash 4 and dash 5, those two there. But once you get up to 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, those are, those are noticeably um, different. The template has to be printed with uh, no scale selected on the printer. Otherwise, it won't, it won't be right. It still is not going to be perfect, but it will be close enough to be useful. However, I'm going to use the table, and I have two fittings that I'm going to show for an example. Um, both of them are on the transmission, since the transmission is real easy to, to reach. And I know that, because I've taken these hoses to the hose shop already, I know that one of them is a dash 8. So I'm going to be looking for a 3 quarter inch thread size, 16 pitch. I'm not going to measure pitch, just the thread size. And another one I know is a dash 10. So I'm going to be looking for 7 eighths. I don't know if that's visible, but that's a 7 eighths, 14 pitch. So I'm going to use my, um, these are the fittings here. This top one is, I know, a dash 8, and this bottom one is a dash 10. And I'll show you, if I didn't know what they were, how I would find out with the calipers. So here I have the calipers carefully lined up on the outside diameter for the thread. And as you can see, it's 3 quarters. And that means that it is a dash 8, because that's what the table says. So now I'll check this one here. And now I have the calipers on the lower fitting. And as you can see, it's 7 eighths. So I know that this is a dash 10. So what I'm going to do is measure my fittings in that fashion. And I just made a table so I could record them all and make one, one order. Uh, there's about 19 hoses, so it's worth making a table if you can. Uh, the other thing that I need to keep in mind is the hose diameter. Uh, for the hose diameter, I have some of the hose diameters. Some of them I'm going to actually increase the hose size from 5 eighths to 3 quarters. And if I'm not sure the hose diameter, I'll just cut it in half and measure the inside diameter of the hose. It's the inside diameter that's important, not the outside diameter. My second order from Surplus Center t came today, and uh, this was in there. Really pleased. This $8, I think, and 90 cents. It's a perfect fit. Really, really great.